So let's talk about what it's going to take in the classroom to be eligible to participate in Division I college athletics. First, you must graduate from high school. Second, you must complete 16 essential core courses that include four years of English, three years of math, that's Algebra I or higher, two years of natural or physical science, including one year of lab science, one extra year of English, math, or natural or physical science, two years of social science, and four years of extra core courses from any of the categories above, or foreign language, comparative religion, or philosophy. But what qualifies as a core course? Well, every high school is different. Luckily, you can find all of that information on the NCAA Eligibility Center website at www.eligibilitycenter.org. You can look up your high school and exactly what courses qualify. You must also achieve a qualifying SAT or ACT score. So what score is that? Well, it depends on what your core GPA is. You see, the NCAA uses a sliding scale to determine your qualifying core GPA and SAT or ACT score. The better your core GPA, the more wiggle room you have on the test, and vice versa. You can find the sliding scale in the NCAA guide for the college-bound student-athlete which can be downloaded directly from the Eligibility Center website for free. So how do I find my core GPA? Well, that's a topic for another video. Good luck, work hard, and prepare with a purpose.